know. Me again. I forgot to say on Friday that my two pound loss means I have lost to date from December 80 pounds. <laughs> I don't know where it's gone. How clumsy of me. But I don't want to find it again. It's Sunday. And for the last oh, three weeks, we've had nothing but rain. Today, we had sun. So, me and hubby spent most of it in the garden. That's where we like to spend a lot of time. He did the grass, and I weeded and pruned and deadheaded and generally tidied up, did a bit of potting because uh, I brought some plants two weeks ago <laughs> and because it started to rain when we were out I just put them in the back when we got back and uh, left them there uh, so the poor things <laughs> w weren't looking very good but they're okay now, they're, they're planted and another thing, I've got nothing to wear. I've got nothing to wear. I've got no clothes. I've just been, I'm in the bedroom. <laughs> it's the bed. It's not the kitchen. I've been through my clothes. And I'm still wearing. <laughs> clothes that I've had for years really. I'm a bit tight. Uh, I get value for money out of my clothes and unless there's a hole or, or anything I still wear them. Um, but yesterday when we went shopping I felt like a bag lady. <laughs> I was sort of losing my clothes. Um, there was, I could just feel excess clothing <laughs> so I've got to go clothes shopping Ooh. but I don't want to because it's a waste of money <laughs> because they're not going to last that long hopefully but I am going to have to bite the bullet and go to the shops Apart from my underwear, it's the only thing I've brought in that's any different. What else have I got to say? Oh yes, I just wanted to give you a little insight into my world, my family. There's me, Heather, and then there's Paul, hubby, second husband. I don't know what happened to the first one. <laughs> I think I left him. <laughs> no, I didn't. Um, and then there's Ruth, who's 19, and she's from my first husband. Uh, she's at uni. And uh, then there's Thomas, Tom, he's 14. And uh, then there's Mia and she's 12 and they're lovely, wonderful and Paul is, my husband I don't tell him enough really but he is, he's wonderful I love animals and I feed anything that needs feeding tramps, no I don't feed tramps um, animals so I feed the birds outside we have five cats and they eat better than we do. <laughs> we did have four guinea pigs but we're down to one. I fed the other three to the cats. <laughs> no, I didn't. No. Um, we've got fish, tropical fish. Uh, they eat us out of house and home, the tropical fish do. <gasps> no. So I feed the birds outside. We've got squirrel, we have hedgehogs, we've had the odd frog, but we haven't got a pond, so I don't know where they come from. 
I've fed stray cats. I've fed next door's cats. <laughs> and I don't like cats. I do now. But I grew up with birds. And uh, my husband grew up with dogs and cats and he said I'd love a cat and I said okay then let's have a cat and then we have five so I don't do anything by halves I do everything in excess I would have a goat a donkey a couple of sheep I'd love chickens, love chickens. what else a pig uh, not an elephant, I couldn't get that in the garden. Um, but I would home anything if I, if I could. I'm having to talk quietly. Oh, there's a next door. And she, she won't like me talking about her. Uh, because, um, here goes, Mia has an ASD. She's got Asperger's Syndrome. <laughs> it's not funny. I'm not laughing at her. I'm just laughing because I'm having to keep it quiet. Because I don't want her to hear that I'm talking about her. Because that would... Um, she wouldn't like that. Um, and I wouldn't have her any other way. She is brilliant. She is. And it's... You know, easy considering what she's got. She, she doesn't handle life very well. Um, she can't cope with social -ness. We, uh, we're blessed to have her. But she just come up with some things. You'd think she was an old woman sometimes. There's something that she comes out with. And some things she picks up from me. And you think, oh, that's me, that is. I've said that to her. And she retains it. And she uses my language back. And my wording. been dreaming about 